What's up guys, Lameface here and I'm back with another Final Fantasy 7 video. So in my last few videos I've asked if you had something you wanted me to make a video on to let me know down in the comments section. And Joshua here asked if I had a top 10 list of best monsters to fight when farming AP, which I thought was a great idea. So in this video I'm going to be talking about AP. What is it, why is it so important, and the best places to farm for it. So if you already know everything about AP and just want to know the best farm locations in my opinion, skip ahead to this point in the video. So let's just talk about AP for a second. What it does is it powers up your materia and you get it by defeating enemies. So each enemy has a certain amount of AP they'll give you after a battle, which is pretty straightforward. The thing is, just because an enemy says they'll give you, let's say for an example, 50 AP, doesn't necessarily mean that's how much you'll get towards your materia. It also depends on what weapons and armor you have the materia equipped on. So let's take a look at Cloud. As you can see, I have the Buster Sword equipped, and right here it says Normal. So when it says that, it means it'll give you the regular amount of AP the enemy is supposed to give you. Now here I have equipped the Rising Sun, and you'll notice now it says double. So this means you'll get twice the amount of AP that the enemy is supposed to give you, which is great, but we'll go one step further and you'll see I have the Apocalypse equipped now, and it's a triple growth weapon. This is one of two weapons with triple growth. You'll definitely want this on when you're farming AP, and if you watch my video on how to breed chocobos quickly, you can get this as soon as you get the high win meaning you can use it as soon as Cloud is back in your party. But not everything is positive. If you've played through the game completely, you've probably noticed that, unfortunately, everyone's ultimate weapon has zero growth, so be aware of that. Now let's take a look at the armor real quick. Same rules apply. Most armor will have a normal type, but there are a few exceptions. So the Bronze Bangle and the Zedrich, for example, will not give Materia growth because they don't even have any Materia slots. But the Warrior Bangle and Gigas Armlet also don't have Materia Growth. Which is too bad because the Warrior Bangle is a really good piece of armor. On the flip side, the Platinum Bangle and the Rune Armlet give double growth. I would recommend using the Rune Armlet while you're farming. You can buy these from the shop in Bone Village. So to recap, when farming I would use Cloud with the Apocalypse and Rune Armlet, Sid with the Scimitar and Rune Armlet, and Yuffie with Rising Sun and Rune Armlet. You can swap Yuffie out for a different character of your choice if you really don't want to use her, but she does have the best double growth weapon. All right, now that we understand how it all works, I'll show you where I think the best places to farm is. So obviously the enemies with the most AP are going to be at the very end of the game. So instead of just listing off the 10 enemies with the highest AP, I'm gonna show you a few places you can farm throughout the game. So the first place is going to be at Junon, and you can do this as soon as you get the buggy from Gold Saucer. Head down this pathway with all the soldiers and hit the alarm on the wall. Now simply run around until you get into a fight. These enemies will have a pretty high level for this part of the game, which means they'll have good experience and AP. These guys in particular. You'll get 70 AP for each one you encounter. So the fights with three of them will come out as 210 AP, which is really good at this point in the game. I wouldn't recommend farming any time before this because it's just not time efficient. Now if you're trying to master something before a certain point, more power to you. But this is where I would start first. Also keep in mind you won't have the best weapons to do this yet. Another place you could try farming is the sea worms which you can fight on the beaches surrounding Medeal. You can get to these as soon as you get the tiny Bronco. You'll get 200 AP for each fight and this is the only enemy you'll encounter here. It also gives you 5,000 gil each time, which is pretty decent at this point in the game, so it's not a bad place to farm for money if you're low on that. If you're purely grinding for AP though, I'd stick to the Junon area, as the Sea Worms have a lot of HP, so it will take a while before you defeat it. These are going to be the best two places to farm until you get the high win, and then I'd start farming in the forest by Medeal. There you'll fight these guys called Headhunters. You'll fight either three or four of them at a time and they'll give you 80 AP for each one you fight. After you get the submarine, you can go down to the sunken Galinka and fight the unknowns. Unknown 2 will give you the most AP at 300 for each one you fight. 
The unknowns can be a little difficult when you first get the opportunity to go down there. So a safer option is to fight in this room here and you'll fight only bad raps and poodlers. The bad raps always come in groups of four and will give you 280 AP per fight. So this is a great alternative to the unknowns. And finally, the best place to farm, and it's not even close, is inside the northern cave. Go all the way down to the bottom and take the left path until you get into this area. You can fight the Master Tonberries for 200 AP each, and you can also morph them into one of the best accessories in the game, the Ribbon. But more importantly, you'll encounter two AP monsters. The first one is the Magic Pots. You'll fight either one or two of them at a time and they'll give you a thousand AP each. There is a slight trick to beating them though, if you're not familiar with it, you must feed them an elixir first before you can do any damage. Not a mega elixir, just an elixir. After that, they're super easy to beat. And finally, my favorite enemy for AP farming, the movers. They're these orange bouncing balls and they always come in threes. Defeat them and you'll get 2,400 AP as well as 90,000 gil. So as soon as you're able to, which is the start of disc three, this is the room you'll want to live in to master all your materia, along with quite a bit of gil and experience. So that about wraps it up. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel. Let me know down in the comment section if there's another topic you'd like me to make a video on. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.